real name Brian Danielson, 36, is one of the most successful and beloved wrestlers ever as he created, one of the most popular chants and went on to win two world titles. The leader of the Yes movement, was forced to retire two years ago after a series of concussions, took a huge toll on his health, but rumors have been suggesting the former WWE champion will make a shocking in-ring return at WrestleMania 34, on April 8, at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome, in New Orleans, Louisiana, to face Shane McMahon, with whom he's currently building a feud on SmackDown, but Executive Vice President of Talent, Live Events and Creative for WWE Triple H, talking at the Television Critics Association Winter Press Tour panel, insisted that no one can compete unless they are medically cleared by WWE doctors. There can be no exception, medically, if the belief is that he's not healthy enough and it is a risk to perform, then I don't know why we would ever allow him to step in the ring unless it can be proven otherwise. We have some of the best medical people in the world working for us. Our wellness policy, our concussion programs, our protocols, I'll put them up against any on the planet. The medical experts will make the determination of whether Brian can set foot in that ring or not, personally, for him, I know it's something he loved doing and I hope he has that opportunity, but at the same point in time, he's married and has a child, we serve the human being first. Brian has been cleared to compete by his own doctors but not the ones employed by WWE. The SmackDown manager has stated that if WWE don't allow him to compete he will leave the company when his contract runs out later this year and go somewhere else to wrestle. Brian was pushed to the main event of WrestleMania 30 by the fans despite management's persistence to keep him in the mid-card and enjoyed one of the greatest moments at the showcase of the Immortals when he beat Randy Orton and Batista for the WWE title. Down, down.